Myanmar. 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 A country you may have seen on the news before, but you know very little about. Since gaining independence from the British in 1948, the country has been involved in the world's longest civil war. This all changed in 2015 when Aung San Suu Kyi, the daughter of the Burmese independence hero, gained power from the military after 25 years of corrupt election results. Unfortunately, this did not last for long. In February 2021, the military staged a coup and threw Aung San Suu Kyi into prison. This has led to a bloody civil war. As of March 2023, it is estimated that 17.6 million people require humanitarian aid, whilst 1.6 million people have been internally displaced and the number keeps rising. There are numerous ethnic militia groups attempting to take back parts of the country, but currently there is no end in sight. Aung San Suu Kyi and democracy remain in prison to this very day. We want to show you the side of Myanmar very few people do. This is our story. Good evening and welcome back to Yangon, Myanmar. This evening we are going to delve deep into the Burmese cuisine, a country that borders India, China, Laos, Thailand and Bangladesh. It really is a melting pot and there is no better way to understand a country than eating its food. So we're going to check out as much street food as humanly Possible. I'm so excited. I'm starving. I've not eaten breakfast today and I am ready to stuff myself with Burmese food. Have you heard of it? Probably not. We're back in downtown Yangon and we're actually going to be meeting up with a local today. His name's Chan. Um, he's a local tour guide and we basically just said to him, please just take us to some best food, street food spots on the street. We would not have a clue. Uh, honestly, there's so many vendors out on the streets, but because I obviously don't speak Burmese or read it. I do not know what they're selling. So yeah, we really need someone to just show us. You can eat this. <laughs> we have met our lovely tour guide, Chan. Hello, Chan. Hello, nice to meet you. Okay. Nice to meet you yeah. too. Thank you so much for your time. I'm also, thank you very much for coming to our, our country. I'm Al Chami and you can call me Chan. And I'm and working today? as a tour guide as yep. well as an English teacher. I and can today, tell your English is very so good. good. And today you're going to show us the best food yeah, in Yangon. I'm going, to, I'm going to take you guys and explore Yangon City, especially for the street food. Woohoo! Go. Thank okay. you so much. <laughs> Jezebar. Jezebar. And our first stop is just across the road. You cannot do a food tour, a street food tour in Yangon and not go to a tea house to try Burmese tea. And look at this place. It's so, so busy. Watch the big set. This is called SKK Tea Shop. Oh my God, I don't even know if you're going to find a seat. Hello, Miglaba. Miglaba, hello. What happened? Check my hand. It is packed. This is very, I don't even think, upstairs? I think so. Upstairs is good. Okay. This really is the best way to start in an old colonial building in a tea house, a real Burmese mm. institution. Oh, that's good. It's interesting, it's very it's, sweet. It's extra, extra sweet. And one thing you'll notice is when people want to pay, you'll hear a like a kissing sound. So apparently this is the noise you make when you want to get 
the attention of a server. If you'd done this back home, you'd probably get a punch in the face. But here, it is what you do. So Chan has ordered a few different Burmese teas as far as to try. We have Balmet, which is sweet. Balmet, sweet tea. So that is Burmese tea with evaporated milk and condensed milk. And we have Chow mein. Uh, jazzy. Jazzy. Very good. I'll get there in Jazzy. Jazzy. Excellent. And this is like stronger, but not too strong. Yeah. So we have an in-between. I'm going to try this one because I love my sweet tea. I'm very intrigued. It's like creamy. Wow. Delicious. Super sweet. Actually quite strong. And then we also have like green tea. And when would you drink this? Anytime. Yeah, anytime. Caffeine overload. Oh my god, so we now have Shan the Hot. Shan noodles. They are from the region in eastern Myanmar and they are like rice noodles. We have spring onion, we have some vegetables, some sesame I believe on top of there. You can just mix it all up. Look at that. Okay, here goes. Mm. Is that chicken? So you have dried chicken on the top. They're very saucy. They're really soft noodles, actually. I mean, it's so hot that I'm just dripping with sweat. But really, really delicious. Quite very peanutty, which I wasn't really expecting because it doesn't look very peanutty. That's just sesame. But yeah, really, really delicious. And this is tohu noi, which is essentially hot tofu. Apparently you have to mix it first. Again, there's a little bit of dried chicken on top. Oh wow. It's almost like a cheese pull <laughs> with, oh. Ah, and there's noodles as well. Yeah. This is a messy job. I'm discovering new ingredients as we go. Look at that. It's like a melted <laughs> tofu on top of some noodles. I'm so intrigued at this. Mm. It's really good. Yeah. Mm. Does it taste like tofu? No, not at all. It's almost like a peanut sauce. Mm. It makes them really like sticky, really chewy. You can't beat steaming hot noodles in, like I said, an institution, a place where people have gone for years to talk about the day's news, read the newspaper, kiss <laughs> at the server. But right outside is an area where they are selling all of these books. And this is where you learn to speak English from these books, right? They would basically... He's just explaining the prices, but Chan was saying that they come here to buy the books because they're cheaper. And this helps you learn English. Second hand books, second -hand books yeah. and it teaches everyone like yeah. people come here to learn English because the books are so good. Yeah. I've seen so many that we had when I was a child. I've seen the loaded We have to get it. this. Can I can I reach it? <laughs> oh, Myanmar. We need we need this for our um, trip. This is so fascinating. Like I'm so interested to see what the heavy's gonna find out how much it is. How much is this one? <laughs> Oh, 9, oh, that's so good. That's, yeah, let's do it. Let's okay. Do it. I will take one. Oh. Oh. Let me get into the reserves. Hold on, I'm in the reserves. 9,000? 9,000. Thank you, my friend. <laughs> that's okay. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. Thank you. Jezaba. Well, George Orwell spent a lot of time in Myanmar, right? He lived here. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Wow. So this is actually... It's like a Burmese deal. Look at these. Which one? George Orwell, Burmese Days, 1984. That is so fascinating. This is such a great place to find like historical archives as well because they're collectors. So they come and sell them on the street. This is a side note from food, but this is so cool. Thank you. This is 
so interesting. So after our huge bowl of noodles, we've just stumbled across fried tofu. Is there a name for it? Uh, tofu chop. Tofu chop. Tofu is just a tofu and chow mein fried. fried. So it's essentially so fried tofu, fried and you can tofu. see here the lady is just frying it right on the side of the street so on the way to Chinatown. They would have it in the morning, or they have it especially in the evenings. And look at this; it looks so unusual. I did think it was fruit at first. Oh, it's like a crisp. I wasn't expecting that. I thought it was going to be soft, but it's actually like a, like a crisp. What the hell? And we have well and truly made it to the heart of Yangon's street food. Welcome to Chinatown, 19th Street, also known as Beer Street. And we have been welcomed by... <laughs> Do you want to eat some? What? Some oh bugs. These are literally, they're crawling. What are these? They're widgety yeah, grubs. I think bats. Yeah. We call yes. them widgety grubs. Yeah. And you don't eat them? No, I, I'm scared of it. I, I think Actually. I'm scared too. Look at them. <laughs> We're not eating these, is it? Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, but they have crickets. They have small version. No. <laughs> Thank you, Jezaba. Oh my god, this lady is so so sweet. So, what is the name of these? Uh, fried pork roll. But is there a name, or is it just like a snack? Essentially, this street is all barbecue. Yeah. So the street is barbecue meat. It's called Watalunjo. Watalunjo. Okay. Okay. So what people do is they walk down here, they grab things on sticks, they find a seat, and they drink a beer. You know, you're behind a table of punk rockers. Oh my god. That is so cool. That's so cool. But anyway, back to the lady. She's, yeah, she's so sweet. Um, I will. She's so sweet. Little fried pork balls. Ah. Mm. You know what that tastes like? It's delicious. It tastes like KFC crispy chicken. Even though it's pork. Look How does this. that make sense? And you can see she's making it right here. <laughs> she gets the paste out of here, puts it in here. Thank you, Jezebel. Jezebel. Let me get involved. Oh my gosh. It's, it's so good. What is delicious in Burmese? Uh, delicious. Yeah, it basically tastes like. Hello. Me, I'm from England. England. London. 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 Yeah. And you from Yangon? No, uh, yeah, yeah, from Myanmar. Myanmar. I'm making vlog. Yes. Yeah. What is your channel name? Double and travel. Can I, can I say yeah, 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 yeah. Are you are you drinking beer tonight? Yeah, yeah. Hey. A lot of my I want you, you know, if you don't mind, I would like you to take a picture of us. Yeah, I will come and say hello. Okay. Hold hold my port ball. Hold my port ball. I've got to come and say hello. Hello everyone, Minglaba. Oh, can I introduce? Uh, yes, of course. This, this is Deep Minglaba. <laughs> Hello. 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 Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you all. Gopal. Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Matt. Nice to meet you. You are a blogger. I'm a blogger. I'm showing uh, the best food to eat and the best. Is the beer good? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I like beer. We are we are sitting down there. So it means you are a Manchester United fan. Chelsea fan. Why? <laughs> Last week, Chelsea four. Manchester United 3. Happens sometimes. Happens sometimes. And, and this restaurant has good beer? Yeah, yeah. Yes, we want to drink. We, we are having one down here, but I will come and join you in 20 minutes. She really is the best. What is her name? Meiji. 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 Jezeba Meiji. Thank you so much. Oh, she's so sweet. I love this street. This is. This is quintessential Asia. This is beer on the side of the street in a little plastic chair. And we have actually just ordered a beer just down the road. And then I'm gonna go, we gotta go and see them boys. Yeah. They've, invi they're so cute. they've invited us. Thank you very much. They have invited us 
for a beer. Cheers, Molly. Cheers. Oh my god. Wow. This is so not what I was expecting when we decided to pop out for a street food tour. Chad, you've taken us to the coolest place yeah. ever. Now let me try the beer. And we have our KFC pork balls. <laughs> they really did taste like KFC. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. cheers. Yeah. This. This is what I wanted. This is what you've got to find. You've got to get involved with mm, the cuisine, the people, the beer, which is actually incredibly good. And I just love that plastic chair, street food culture. Anthony Bourdain would be very proud. This is what we call La Pet Dog, okay, in Burmese. Uh, we just made it for like a green tea. Uh, we, it's, it's like a green tea salad. Uh, some ingredients are like uh, uh, corn and also uh, peanuts, beans, and also green tea. Okay, and some oil, we put it in that one. Sometimes we also put like a uh, fried fish on, on, top, on top of it, and some vegetable like uh, cabbage, and like that one. Okay, so that, that lapato is very famous and the lemak of our Burmese our wow. food. This is proper South. East Asia and these are perfect beer snacks not only our fried pork balls but you can drink Burmese tea but you can also eat it and this is consumed at almost any occasion even a funeral I'm not sure of the best should I just a, a big spoonful I've never eaten a tea leaf before where is the tea leaf there, there we go the green one Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's spicy. Yeah, it's spicy. Mm. It's so fragrant, it's spicy, and they're not silly. The spicier you make it, the more beer mm, you need to consume. Thank you very much. Jezuba. Thank you. Jezuba. Cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Cheers. We have a done Cheers. I know. <laughs> we had to join our friends on the plastic chairs, okay, ice cold beer. This video, I'm gonna ask you something. Okay, what are you asking me? Knock knock. Who's there? Thank. Thank. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. I love this. Ice cold beer, plastic chairs, a guy on the guitar. Old man jokes. <laughs> Dad jokes. He's so good. What is he singing her about on the guitar? No one understands. We, we are trying to leave, but you lot are you're a bad influence. You're influencing us badly. You're like one more beer, one more beer, one more beer. I, I need to go back. You're very bad influence. You get me drunk. I could miss the curfew. I stay out late. Yeah, we're gonna fight for you, don't worry. Yeah? We are already great. We're gonna give our life for you. Ah, oh, okay. One more. What? What? One more. Okay, can I tell you one more joke? Man United. No! <laughs> I'm about to say no. Cheers. How do I say cheers? Cheers. 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 Chia. Yeah. Chia. Yeah. Chia. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's just a Burmese accent. Chia. Thank you. Let me stand up. Oh. Nice to meet you. My friend. Wait, wait, wait. We will, we will wait, meet. Wait, that's okay. Wait, wait. You have clean hands. so good. The only bad thing is Man United. That is dirty. Okay, bro. See you. We will meet again for sure. Tomorrow. 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 Thank you. Jezaba. I don't know what I've got. Blame them boys, they were a bad influence, but it is so nice to see a street. Thank you, Jezebel, a street full of life. Look at this. Absolutely packed. In both ends. And, and what is this? Uh, this is ours. Okay. Should we take one each? Cheers. And what do you do? Just suck it. <laughs> The perfect end of the day snack. Wouldn't... It's like a yogurt. It's weird, isn't it? It's milky. It's a milky. Oh, I don't, I don't know if I can have it next to all the bugs. <laughs>
the perfect way to end the perfect afternoon. A few ice cold beers and on the walk home, some Burmese ice cream. Again, like the previous video, we're actually ending this once leaving the country for our own safety so we can express our views fully. But the Burmese cuisine, I didn't know much about it, but with the help of Chan, we were able to sample some of their Delights. Delights. I honestly didn't know much about at all. Obviously some places due to the current situation are closed, but I think we made the best of the situation. And Chinatown was so much fun. It was so good to see so many young people out enjoying their evening, having a laugh and to sit there with the locals who were, they were honestly the funniest boys you will ever meet. You will also notice that everyone along there drinks tiger beer or an imported beer. No one drinks Myanmar beer because the Myanmar beer is owned by the junta. So buying that, you're essentially supporting them. So if you are ever in Myanmar, make sure at the moment you don't drink Myanmar beer. Drink tiger, drink Heineken, drink Stella. Whatever you can find, just do not drink Myanmar beer because you will be supporting the junta. But there is so much more to come from Myanmar. You'll be seeing Chan again in a future video and we still have two weeks left to show you traveling across the beautiful country that is Myanmar. See you in the next one.